Today we are facing many challenges concerning climate, racial and gender equality, biodiversity and education among others. To address this issue, the United Nations has created the Global Indication Framework for the Sustainable Development Goals. The SDGs were adopted by UN Member States in 2015 as universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity by 2030. This could sound overambitious, but they have been chosen to be the blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. The goals address the global challenges of our times, including poverty, climate change, environmental degradation, gender inequalities and conflicts. In addition, these challenges are aggravated by natural and man-made disasters, and increasingly so by climate change. With the frequency of extreme events increasing, achieving the SDGs is more important than ever. Droughts and floods are the two extreme ends of the hydrological cycle, where the first one is too little water and the second one is too much. Droughts occur when an exceptionally long dry period uses up available water resources, whereas floods occur when the water courses of rain shallow up the land that is usually uncovered. Did you know that the number of recorded natural disasters such as droughts, floods, landslides, wildfires and earthquakes have increased sixfold in the last 25 years? This increase is strictly linked to urban development, population growth, urbanization and climate change. Climate change should be acted upon quickly and implementing the SDGs is a significant step in the right direction. This, of course, requires action through collaborations such as public-private partnership, but the real situation doesn't look so promising. In fact, a study by the PwC shows that out of more than 1,000 companies, 72% mentioned the SDGs in their reporting, but only 40% included specific SDG targets. Aligning activities closely to the SDGs will allow businesses to understand and better tackle global crises. Like some other companies around the world, RSS Hydro has included the SDGs in its mission and business activities for developing sustainable service solutions under a changing climate and for responding sustainably to extreme events. There are six SDGs out of the 17 that are most aligned with RSS Hydro's activities. SDG number one, no poverty, to reduce exposure and vulnerability to climate-related extreme events. SDG number two, zero hunger, to promote sustainable agriculture and strengthen the capacity for adaptation to events such as floods and droughts. SDG number six, clean water and sanitation, for a more sustainable management of water. SDG number 13, climate action, to combat climate change and its impact. SDG number 15, life on land, that calls for a sustainable reuse of terrestrial and inland freshwater ecosystems. And finally, SDG number 17, that states that SDGs can only be realized with strong global partnerships, cooperation and the sharing of innovative ideas. The current momentum of public and private sector entities in engaging with the SDGs is clearly an excellent start. However, more companies, NGOs and government agencies clearly need to join forces and more needs to be done to be able to respond to these global and social challenges responsibly and more effectively.